the expectation is that that deep in their own territory they will have them kick over with a five yard penalty incidentally on those st rushing statistics it might be well to point out of the 134 yards rushing that North Carolina State totaled in that first half 104 of them came from that amazing uh, freshman running back Ted Brown 104 yards rushing in the first half <laughs> That uh, that might be another one of the deep men. <laughs> the Wolfpack mascot on the sideline. Kevin Plowman uh, is back there deep, wearing number 68, which is an uh, interior lineman's number as a rule. Bill McKenzie on the kick. Lips one high in the air. Stringer. Gathers it in across the 20 now, 25, uh, spins through the 30, then is caught and thrown back, but his forward progress will be ruled stopped around the 31-yard line. So North Carolina State taking the second half kickoff after beginning the game by kicking off to West Virginia. Has it first and 10 on the 31. And things are a little bit stickier right now because they did have a 10-point lead there, but then that closing touchdown by West Virginia University just as the gun ended the first half of play made it a 10 to 6 ball game so things are quite close. Timmy Johnson and Ricky Adams are the running backs. Ricky Adams number 44 on the handoff. Gets to maybe the 33 yard line met head on by Ray Marshall the linebacker number 63 with help from Gary Lombard number 88. Forward progress stopped at the they're putting it at the 34. So it'll be second and seven. 10 to 6, the score in the ballgame, North Carolina State out in front. Coming wide right is Don Bucky, his twin brother Dave Bucky at quarterback, pair of seniors, all conference. Don Bucky just named to the football right is all American. Dave Bucky, the quarterback on it. It's been a rare play for Dave Bucky this afternoon. He's only run that one about three times, and he uh, gets it back uh, to around the 38 yard line before he's hauled down by Steve Dunlop and Paul Jordan. So it'll be third down now with about three yards to go. Third and three. That's tough yardage. See what Bucky's going to do. He tries his running back. Gives it over to Ricky Adams. And Adams is up there around the 42-yard line, which is first down area. Johnny Shell coming over to make the tackle. First down is signal. First and 10 for North Carolina State. Ball at the 42. Don Bucky going out wide to the left. That's Elijah Marshall in motion. They pitch to the trailing back. They've got Ted Brown back in the backfield. Fellow who carried the ball 104 yards rushing in the first half, and he's able to get it up to about the 46. Ray Marshall and Andy Peters making the stop for West Virginia University. Just across the 45, we'll call it there. That'll be second down, a little less than seven yards to go. Bucky and Marshall going out wide as receivers to the left. Second and long. Dave Bucky at quarterback. And he's going to that one over to Ted Brown on a quick shot into the line. And let's see what happened with it. Taking him out now. He's got it up to around the 47-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a little less than five. Chuck Smith, principal stopper, number 78 for West Virginia. Jack, it looks like North Carolina may have changed their strategy here for the second half. They came out running the football. They're still running the football, but right now with a third and six or seventh situation, I expect that uh, Bucky's going to have to go to the air. Ugh. I guess when you got a guy that can gain 104 yards and a half, you're going to give him the ball on third and long, but it didn't work out. Well, I think he should have listened to me. He should have gone so. to the air because now they're going to have to punt it away. <laughs> They got it to the 50-yard line, which isn't enough. Steve Dunlop making the stop, and North Carolina State will have to kick to West Virginia University with Mark Burke heading back as the principal deep man under the putt. Also with him back there is Anderson.
Donnie Evans deep. Evans always takes a look before he kicks. See if there's any chance of running it. He does. He takes his time. Kicked a great one that time. It's going to be down. It's going to be Did down. Did they get right it? There at the one yard line, I believe. Oh, oh, oh. Inside the one. They just did save that. 49-yard punt. Boy, Don, that was up. Let's take oh. a look at it. Evans who takes his time to see if he's going to get a rush. Look at the ball there. A great kick that he got off. Several North Carolina State Wolfpack players floundering around it there at the end zone, and they do down it. Do down it inside the one-yard line. So with the timeout of the field, the score is North Carolina State 10, West Virginia University 6. Ready to go. The Wolfpack basket on the sideline, and now it's a case of North Carolina State holding them. They've really got them in a hole, and they're passing. Hey, a quick and daring strike with the ball on their own six-inch line. Scott McDonald. That's complete to McDonald. Oh, the big tight end, Scott McDonald, taking the Kendra pass on that one. What a gamble that's got to be when you're on your own one-yard line. Look at the quarterback, Dan Kendra, dropping back, going for that rangy tight end. Certainly North Carolina State did not expect that. Scott McDonald provides quite a target, and look at him move that file with him. He got it out to the 15-yard line before they wrestled him down. First down at the 15. And off goes to uh, running back to Dwayne Woods. Correction, the running back is Ron Lee on that carry. He's got it to the 18-yard line where Tom Higgins was back in the ball game. He was out with injury through much of the first half. Back in there now. And he's a very important man for North Carolina State to have in there. All conference. One of the really fine middle guards and the leading tackler for North Carolina State on the season. Kendra back, look at the throw. He gets it away just before being hit. Almost brought off a spectacular completion. Tight end Randy Swinson, the target. Couldn't quite bring it off. Mike Miller covering. Oh, that brings the ball back to the 18-yard uh, line. Well, it'll be third down now with about seven yards to go. North Carolina State in front, 10 to 6 over West Virginia. The clock is back in working order, which is good news. A little less than 10 and a half minutes to play. Kendra's throw for the sidelines, and on the high jump, Arthur Owens gets it, but came down out of bounds. Tell you what, Jack, that was just a super catch by number 24, Artie Owens, working against Ralph Springer. Let's look at the quarterback, Kendra, there. He's dropped back. Nice pass protection. But watch Artie Owens go high into the air. Right there. Just a great effort. Catches the ball, but he goes down out of bounds. So that forces him to punt after a daring passing gamble from the six inch line. Looked like it might inspire them into changing the score around a little bit. And now they'll have to kick. Stringer is deep. A uh, line drive boot that uh, rolls across the 50. Stringer's going to let it roll on its own, and it comes to a halt at the 43-yard line. Good field position for State, and it'll be first and 10 at that point. 39-yard punt. This is the second time in the half that North Carolina State has the ball. That was the first possession for West Virginia. Now State uh, were forced to punt after taking the kickoff, which began the second half. Have it again with good field position on their own 43. Lucky rolling left. Pegs for the second round almost at once, but not until he has gotten the ball to the 43-yard line. And that's who it was, Don Bucky, number 19. Johnny Shell making the stop. Going down to the other 43-yard line, and that's enough for a first down. 14-yard pickup. Elijah Marshall, wide receiver, is wide to the right at the bottom of your picture. And Bucky's back to throw once again, and releases out to Scott Wade, who has panned out to the right. Pass completed behind the line of scrimmage. He is able to get it to the 42, which is only a yard gain. Lester Johnson was in there with Gary Lombard to bring him down. I'll tell you what, it can really be important coming out of the backfield. We're looking at number 33, who is Scott Wade, coming out of the backfield. And when you do that, the linebackers have already taken their drop, and they have to close ground in a hurry. So if a back can catch the ball and has a little agility, he's got a lot of running room. 
Second down and about nine yards to go. Dave Bucky rolling left. Here's his peg. He's got Don Bucky wide open on the sidelines again. They found something about the Mountaineers' defense in that area on that rollout to the left. They've had Bucky open now and wide open two straight times. I'm sure Bobby Bowden on the sidelines will be sending in a little advice on that formation too, but it gets the ball to the 30-yard line, first down. Don Bucky is running some deep pass patterns, but he's not continuing. He's doing little curl-ups or turnouts once he gets deep. He's not going all the way, and that's why Dave is able to find him. There's the handoff to running back Ted Brown. Brown is able to get the ball down inside the 25. Looks like it'll be marked on about the 23. A good pickup. Jack Eastwood coming in to make the tackle. 24-yard line make it a gain of six. We got nine and a half minutes with the clock running left to play in the third quarter. Score at 10 to 6, favor of North Carolina State, and State is knocking on the door once again. They're 24 yards away. Second down. Four yards to go. Wide receiver set to the right side. Bucky gives the ball to Ted Brown. And Ted Brown trying to hurdle in the line is caught and thrown back, but he made it to just short of the 20-yard line. Ray Marshall, the principal leader for West Virginia University. Here's a big play coming up. Jack, third and about two yards, a real crucial down here for the North Carolina State Wolfpack. They need to convert this, otherwise they might have to try for the field goal. A little less than two, about a yard and a half. Ted Brown gets the call. Ah, did he get the first down? Boy, he got a West Virginia argument on that one. Keeping the ball anchored as they dig out the players, and now the chains will be brought in to check the measurement. Boy, this is a critical one right here. I tell you what, they got so much confidence in that offensive ball club for North Carolina State that if it's not if it's not a first down, which it is, I'm sure they would have gone for it. Okay, first and ten. Ball at the 19-yard line. The score is 10 to 6. North Carolina State leading West Virginia University. A little less than eight and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Now Don Bucky goes out wide to the left. Coming in as a slot back inside him is the other wide receiver, Elijah Marshall. And the ball is given over to Scott Wade. Fumble. Picked up by the galloping uh, recovery by Jack Eastwood for West Virginia, but they're bringing him back. <laughs> ball had hit the ground. Can't run with it. Eastwood did the right thing, though. You run now and you ask questions later. You find out whether you could or could not later, but for the time being, you don't think about it. The defensive end, number five, Eastwood, picked up that fumble, went all the way. West Virginia University now has the football. That's the first fumble of the game. And they have it first and 10 of the 21, and North Carolina State seemingly almost a cinch to score in some fashion suddenly winds up on defense. They're calling for a timeout. So with a timeout on the field, the score is North Carolina State 10, West Virginia 6. Where can rheumatic pain strike? Rheumatism... A little assistance being given to an aching hand out on the field. First play after the fumble recovery has Dan Kendra on a quarterback keeper, and he's able to improve position up to the 34-yard line before he's hauled down uh, by Ron Banther, who ran him out of bounds. Jack, I believe that's the first time I've seen quarterback Dan Kendra use that option and run with the football. It was real successful for him, though. He picked up a first and 10. Certainly was. 13 yards on the carry. Now at the 34-yard line, another first down. And off to Arthur Owens. Offensive captain. Almost to the 40-yard line. Greg Walker, the linebacker, was the principal stopper with Bill Cherry, the other linebacker, number 56, right behind him. Now that's practically a six-yard pickup. It'll be second down and four. And in now is Scott McDonald. Tom Bowden is trotting off the field. There's a look now at the North Carolina State defense, which goes to a five-man front, two linebackers. Deep pitch. 
Harper owns on the carry around the corner and he's almost to midfield. He is stopped up by Ralph Stringer who hemmed him along the sideline. It's enough for a first down as he brought the ball, I believe, to the 47 yard line. I tell you what, that Art Owens is so quick. A little play action fake that time where he went back across the grain with the action that time, but just extremely quick feet. All right between the 47 48 yard line. A little less than seven minutes left in the third quarter. 10 to 6 in favor of North Carolina State. West Virginia on the move. And on the pitch with the option. That time, Arthur Owens was contained. And they get him down for a loss back at the 44. That was Mike Miller, the strong safety. Number 42 shooting across the line to get in the middle of the play in the backfield. Oh, I like to see this by a defensive back. Mike Miller, number 42, the defensive back, and he's going against a good one. Artie Owens there, number 24 with the ball. Look at this, a defensive back all the way in your offensive backfield to make the tackle. That's going to make it second down with 13 yards to go now for the Mountaineers. Scott McDonald goes out wide to the right. Artie Owens, Dwayne Woods, or Ron Lee, rather the running backs. Kendra throws, going deep for McDonald. Another jump ball forward pass, but it overthrows both McDonald and Eddie Poole and goes out of bounds. I like the way you described that, Jack, because that's exactly what it is, a jump ball, hoping that McDonald can win the jump. And at 6'6", and a basketball player, he, he kind of figures to have a little edge over there, Dad. I'll tell you what, all you need to do is get it close. strategy session. Bobby Bowden, the West Virginia coach, back to the headset. Meantime, coming in with the play was Steve Lewis, wide receiver. Tom Bowden, the coach's son, goes wide to the right. Steve Lewis comes wide to the left. Third and 13. Kendra needs success here. He's in trouble. They break him from the pocket, force him to run, and look at him go. Boy, that's a first down with some change as Kendra is finally forced out of bounds deep in North Carolina State territory. And then he the ball in, excuse me, 37-yard line. Danny Down. Kendra ought to be running with the ball more. He had a receiver open that time. He got too much of a pass rush from the North Carolina State defense there. Fine run that time by Danny Kendra, picking the open spaces. 19-yard pickup, first down now on the 37-yard line. Ron Lee taking the handoff, punching straight ahead. Short yardage, he's got the ball to about the 35. Ron Prangay was coming in on the tackle along with Richard Wheeler, number 28, from his free safety position. Second and eight on the 35. Tom Bob not wide to the right. Steve Lewis wide to the left. There's his peg. He's got him wide open. And Bowden was all alone and lonesome over there as he gathered in the pass at the 25-yard line where Darrell Jackson put him down. Let's take a look at Tommy Bowden's pass route. Just runs down, forces the defender a little bit deep, and then turns to the outside. Makes a nice catch there. Almost gets decapitated in the process. But look at him hang on to the ball. Nice catch that time by Tommy Bowden. Got McDonald coming back in now. He has replaced Steve Lewis. Bowden comes wide left, McDonald wide right. The deep pitch goes to Owens. Owens around the corner, cut back. And he works his way down to about the 16, 17-yard line. Let's see where they spot him. Maybe 18. Yes, that's where it's going. Right on the 18-yard line, a seven-yard pickup. It is second and three. Four and a half minutes with the clock running, remaining in the third quarter. Ten to six. North Carolina State battling to hold on to that lead. West Virginia threatening again. And Bobby Bowden must have given some kind of pep talk there at halftime because the Mountaineers from West Virginia University have certainly come out inspired in this second half. Look at his three. And Lee on the handoff, and he almost broke it all the way. He gets down to the six. Ron Lee, a 6'4", 222-pounder. Jeff Easter finally made the stop. Another one of the four that played in that 72 game which saw them embarrassed by North Carolina State, 49 to 13. Well, a quick opener there by Lee. He just ran through a would-be tackle by Mike Miller, number 42. Almost made it to the five-yard line. Was the ball down? Avery 
Love of the fumble. Oh, brother. This is heartbreak lane. Mike Miller recovered that fumble for North Carolina State after a shot into the line. Had the ball dislodged. Oh, go with a timeout on the field. The score is North Carolina State 10, West Virginia 6. They sent the backup quarterback, Johnny Evans, in at running back. He's the punter, fakes a quick kick, gets to Ted Brown, right around the corner, gets out to the 13 of first down. Oh, boy. Johnny Evans, quick kick against Penn State, 81 yards. So when he came in and they set him back in that short punt, West Virginia had to respect it. But he faked the kick, gave it on the reverse, and Ted Brown goes to the first down. Johnny Shell coming finally with Rich Lukowski making the tackle. The ball at the 13th. And these teams are pulling out all Woo. the stoppers. Now the ball's given over to Ricky Adams. And State's fullback getting off tackle to the left is able to get it out to around the 16. Steve Dunlop, the left side linebacker, number 55 on the south of Elford. Number 78, the left tackle, Chuck Smith. Three yards, be second down and about seven yards to go. Score at 10 to 6 still. North Carolina State leading West Virginia. We got a minute and 18 with the clock running left in the third quarter. Don Bucky going out wide to the left. Dave Bucky is twin brother at quarterback. Both seniors this year. Ted Brown. And Ted Brown, the freshman sensation at running back, is contained to the 20-21 yard line, mainly by Rich Lukowski. Ball is put down at the 20. Four-yard pickup. It'll be third and three. There's a look along the sidelines at the yard markers. Three yards needed for a first down. Pitches back. And Brown with the ball, trying to get to the first down territory. Runs out of room along the sidelines. Goes out of bounds on about the 21, and that's not going to be enough. Take a look at it again. Looking at big number 95, Andy Peters there. He tackles a man, but he's got the wrong man. Dave Bucky pitches out to Brown going wide. Ted Brown gets away from one tackling. And he's right there on the sidelines looking for another move, but there's where the turf is a little bit slippery, and he took a pretty good lick also. Oh, Mark Burke is deep for the expected punt. Johnny Evans is deep, rides into the ball, lifts one high and far. And this goes to the other deep man, that's uh, Anderson with the ball. They kick it away from Mark Burke, and he takes it back to the 40-yard line. So, with the timeout on the field, the score is North Carolina State 10, West Virginia 6. Now we're looking down at Bobby Bob, the Virginia head, West Virginia head coach, uh, is out on the field. His team takes possession. And the first crack out of the box, Ron Lee is taking a shot into the line to take it up to the 45, maybe 46 yard line. And that runs him out of time for the third quarter of play. That was the last play of the third quarter. Swinging now, not too far of a walk to change ends of the field, a matter of about uh, eight and a half or nine yards. That's the end of the third quarter of play with the score, North Carolina State 10, West Virginia 6. rifle, whatever it is. Meantime on the field, Danny Kendra is hunting long and it is incomplete, almost intercepted by Stringer. Ralph Stringer, the cornerback, was down there chasing after Steve Lewis and almost got himself one, but it happened to come into his lap out of bounds. So That's just an incomplete pass. Kendra, you're going to get yourself in trouble throwing him up for grabs like that. He just lost it in the air for anyone that was in the area. Stringer was the one that caught it, but out of bounds. They're down, four yards to go now. 
sidelines. Eddie Poole trying to cover him. Couldn't quite catch up. Ah, that puts the ball down at the 44-yard line. Another first down. Jack, it's interesting the way Tommy Bowden describes himself. He says, I'm not big, fast, or strong. I just try harder. Almost got into the next county. Wide on that play. Pitch out goes to Arthur Owens. Owens might break it. He's lambed it along the sidelines now. And they've got him out of bounds inside the 20. Arthur Owens. Boy, Artie Owens just does an excellent job on this one. Let's take a look at it. Taking the pitch back from Kendra. You're going to see him run through some arm tackles. Gets away from one man there. There's number 42 taking a shot at him. Some other people have a shot at him. A great run that time by Artie Owens. He really knows how to find the open spaces. And he found it for 24 yards. Now Bowden is wide to the left, way wide, almost to the far sidelines. Kendra on the option, keeps it, penalty flag goes in. And Kendra makes his cut up field. He's grounded at the 18 by A.W. Jenkins, the middle guard, a sophomore number 55. Let's see what the penalty marker is. Well, the flag was thrown in the offensive backfield, so I would holding. imagine that somebody was holding. is the call against West Virginia. Well, they'll get back to the 20 and start marking it off. Oh, that's a tough break, Boy, there, Jack. When you've got a drive form like that, nothing hurts an offensive ball club more than to fumble the football or to have one of those costly holding penalties that sets you back 15 yards. That's the fifth penalty against West Virginia. It totals now to 45 yards in penalties. North Carolina State has been penalized six times for a total of 60 yards. But as you say, Don, uh, timing of a penalty can be discouraging, too. And that one, from West Virginia's standpoint, couldn't have come at a worse time. North Carolina State's one of the best of the day. Hand off to Ron Lee. Lee diving into the line. Caught, thrown down. A.W. Jenkins, the principal tackler. He got it to the 33. That was first and 25, so now it'll be second and uh, 23. Ball now at the 33-yard line. The score is at 10 to 6. We have just begun the fourth quarter of play. Got a little less than uh, 14 minutes to play in the game. North Carolina State in the lead. Kendra back, pumps once, in trouble. Coming back to help out is running back Ron Lee. He juggles but holds the ball and takes it to the 35-yard line where Jim Henderson brought him down with help from Kyle Wesco. Great job of Skanda scrambling that time by Kendra. They still ended up with about a three-yard loss, but it's a great effort by Lee. Let's take a look at this play again. Let's see what happens. Number 85, the tight end for West Virginia is Thornton. That's a little move there, turns to the inside. But there the pass is already broken back. He's working back, trying to figure out someone to block. Meanwhile, Kendra is still running around back there. Evidently, Thornton gives up. Now Kendra looking to throw once more. Fires for the end zone. Oh, oh incomplete. Steve Lewis had it. But he was tackled by Richard Wheeler. He had the ball, but he was hit at the same time. And that dislodged the ball from his grasp. The timing of the hit was perfect. It was perfect. And Lewis was really open. Kendra was just late getting Lewis the ball. He had plenty of time. But by the time the ball got to Lewis, the defenders also were there. Lewis disappointed as he heads for the back. Heads back to the bench. Here's a look at it again. Okay, we'll take a look, and uh, we'll let the viewers make their own determination. I think the ball was there. I think the ball was there before he was hit. Yes, it was perfect, Don. There's no question of any difficulty on a ruling on that one. Time is being called now by uh, West Virginia. So with the time out on the field, the score is North Carolina State 10, West Virginia University 6. Facing is Lou Holtz, the coach for North Carolina State. Up and down the sidelines. This game just bitingly close. And West Virginia knocking at the door repeatedly. Blunted again now in a punt formation. Yes, 
Betty lifting one, and he tried to kick it high and have it come down, maybe a little bite on it to keep going into the end zone, but it made it into the end zone for the touchback. It'll be first and 10 at the 20-yard line. The state takes the ball once again. Well, Jack, we've got a real crucial series coming up here for West Virginia University. They've got to be able to hold North Carolina State. If North Carolina State can go in for a touchdown, it will take two touchdowns. Not a touchdown and a field goal for West Virginia University to beat them. Ball at the 20, first down for North Carolina State. And a peg is pass interference called. Don Bucky cutting in to try and make that one. Was hit by Johnny Shell while the ball was coming toward him. And the interference ruling is made. And it'll give the ball to North Carolina State at the 30-yard line. And that's just enough for the first down, first and ten. Both these teams have just been great on providing us with... Let's take a look at it again. We're going to look at Dave Bucky throwing to his brother Don Bucky, and Johnny Shell is the uh, defender on this one. Let's take a look. They're both going for the ball, but the officials got a better look at it than we have from this vantage point. He ruled pass interference. On the draw play, Scott Wade takes the handoff, and as he pumps into the line, he's able to take it out to around the 35-yard uh, line. Our correction, that was Ted Brown, 23, not 33. Lester Johnson making the tackle. Ball at the 35. It'll be second down and a uh, little less than five yards to go. Two wide receivers are set out to the right side. Ted Brown, Ricky Adams, the running back. Ted Brown's got it again. He's in the line and to the 39-yard line, a yard short of a first down. Andy Peters, 95. Lester Johnson, 45, combining on the stop. It'll be third and one. Got to get to the 40 for the first down. That looks like they're going to pull out the chains and have a look at this one, Jack, uh, to see if it was a first down or not. Third down conversions. They both had 13 attempts. North Carolina State's converted six of theirs. West Virginia, uh, West Virginia University conversions five. Oh, oh, oh look at this measure. <laughs> He's got it. Got it. Well, that's why they call it a game of inches, I guess. Well, it must be. I'd also like to check that chain. That <laughs> ball was right at the 30-yard line on the pass interference call. And he's got a first down just short of the 40. <laughs> okay, Grease, don't you go second-guessing the officials up here. <laughs> first down. Dave Bucky on the draw to Ricky Adams, and Adams almost gave nail behind the line is able to break loose and get on to the 43 before Gary Lombard brought him down. Well, Peters had done a good job on uh, Ricky Adams on that one. They're even behind the line of scrimmage. Let's take a look at it again. You're going to see number 95, Peters, there. Get a shot at him. Here he's coming in on Adams. Gets a look at him, but watch how tough this freshman is to bring down. Gets away from two people there, still fighting more for more yardage. Good shot there on our isolite. Wide receivers both set to the right. Pitch comes back to Ted Brown. Brown almost next side, but holds his balance for a few more strides. Takes it up now to about the 48-yard line. Looks like a penalty flag was thrown. Well, I tell you what, Jack, that's what you call the old clothesline. Ted Brown, number 23, the ball carrier on this one. Going wide. You're going to see that big arm swoop out there in a minute. Right there, almost pulls his hat off and his head. But Brown picks up a big yardage. Talking with the defense, a preliminary signal indicated they making a clipping call on this. Incidentally, Ted Brown is 18 carries, has gone for 138 yards. While we have a moment and this discussion is going on, I certainly want to extend our thanks to Lou Holtz, North Carolina State coach, and his. Sports Information Director Ed Seaman, Bobby Bowden, West Virginia coach Ron Steiner, their Sports Information Director for the information and assistance they've given us preparing for this game. 
deep thanks to George Crumley, the executive director of the Peach Bowl, who does so much to make this event and our enjoyment of it a complete success. Oh, they call. It sends the ball back to the 30-yard line, where it's still going to be second down. But it's second down now with about 20 yards to go. Lucky back to throw. Pumps once, then tries to lead Ted Brown after he had gotten just beyond the uh, pass rush developing. But led him a little bit too far, and it's incomplete, so it'll be third down. Third down, about 19 yards to go, still at the 30-yard line. Scores at 10 to 6, North Carolina State. These are tough ones to play. These are tough ones to play for an offensive ball club because the defense will give you 10 to 12 yards, knowing that you've got to pick up almost 20. Got a little less than 10 and a half minutes to play in the game, and North Carolina State has a four-point lead with West Virginia really digging in to keep them down here. Bucky's pass attempt is blocked along the line of scrimmage by number 71, Rich Lukowski. Lukowski, 240 and 6-4, reached that big paw up and stopped it cold, and they'll have to punt the ball back to West Virginia. And that's a good play by Lukowski, because if you cannot get to the passer, get those arms up in the flight of the ball. And Lukowski did that and was able to deflect it. Now getting back to the deep man for West Virginia, the principal of the deep man is Mark Burke. He's had Anderson back there uh, pretty steadily along with him. The funding will be done by Johnny Evans. And he drives the ball on the hop to Burke. Burke hits it on the knee, fumbles it, chases it out of bounds. So with a timeout of the field, the score is North Carolina State 10 and West Virginia 6. You're watching the outstanding sports programming of the Federal Broadcasting Company, the top network on cable television. All right, we're going now to the West Virginia offense as they begin play on the 23-yard line where that uh, fumbled punt went out of bounds before North Carolina State could do anything about recovering it. And Kendra, quarterback... Gives that ball to Artie Owens, and Owens, with a good move, is able to get it out to the 30-yard line for a seven-yard pickup before he's brought down by Bill Cherry, number 56, and Jim Henderson, number 90. Let's watch the center on our isolate replay. Fluhowski done a good job of blocking there. Ted Brown, the ball carrier. Fluhowski, the center, who's a diabetic, by the way. He has to take insulin every now and then because he does have sugar diabetes, but does an excellent job out there on the football field. Marty Owens, Ron Lee at the running back, wide receivers to either side. This time the ball is given to Ron Lee, and Lee on a quick thrust powers his way to around the 33 or 34 yard line. That's right at first down territory. Ron Banther making the stop. And they're going to call for the chains once again. Well, I tell you what, Jack, this game is nothing like the game the last time oh. these two teams played in the Peach Bowl when Lou Holtz Wolfpack from North Carolina State came out victorious 49 to 13. Virginia University has now chalked up their 20th first down. North Carolina State has 16. Kind of an inconsequential statistic at that with the big one on the scoreboard. And 10 to 6 and West Virginia with a chance. Now the ball is given to Ron Lee once again. And Lee on his punch into the line takes it to the 37-yard line. And Prange brought him down. Let's pick up a four. It'll be second down and six. Don, it looks like West Virginia has renewed confidence in the running game. Kendra is doing a lot of throwing, but I believe he'd like to use up a little clock this time and seems rather confident that he's going to put something on the board. I'll tell you what, they've been certainly an inspired ball club here in this second half. Now he goes for the pass, back to throw. He set it up beautifully, then banks to Steve Lewis. Steve Lewis. Making the catch, has the ball almost at midfield. Bill Carr was there with Ron Banther. Oh, a key pass play. A key pass play this time by Danny Kendra to his flanker back, Lewis, working the sideline pattern there. Catches and turns back in field. 
Gets away from number nine, Johnny J Ralph Stringer, that is. Fights for more yardage, a good completion. Just across the 50, first down. Into the bank. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's got it. He's clear. That is Scott McDonald all the way. West Virginia has exploded in the lead. Scott McDonald just pulled that out of the hands of the North Carolina State defenders. That was some unreal catch. Well, I tell you what, West Virginia University doesn't throw the football that often, but this time they did. Let's take a look at it on our isolite. Danny Kendra, the quarterback, dropping back, looking for that rangy tight end, Scott McDonald, who goes 6'7". Look at him go. Look at that catch. Just a juggling one-handed catch there. Pulls it in, and on that 6'7 frame, heads in for the end zone. Eddie Poole tries to bring him down there. McDonald just kicks away from him, goes in, standing up. Oh, look at that run. I know he's a happy fellow. Oh, boy, does that turn this ball game around. Look at that. 12 to 10. West Virginia has moved in front of State with the extra point attempt coming up. Now a two-point conversion here would uh, force a North Carolina State touchdown. They've been discussing it. They have set this unit off the field, back on the field, back off the field. Well, let's see what it is they have in mind. The well, they've got their kicker out there. Bill McKenzie, number 30. Bill McKenzie's on the field right now. Jack, so it looks like they are going to kick for it. Well, that would make a field goal tie it, but at least a field goal couldn't beat them. And so they're going to go, perhaps, they could fake something here. We'll see. They went 78 yards in five plays, and after two really uh, complete team changes, they've elected to go with the kicking unit. He has got it. That kick is good. And so it is 13 to 10. And timeout on the field. The score is West Virginia 13, North Carolina State 10. You're watching the outstanding sports programming of the Federal Broadcasting Company, the top network on cable television.